welcome to the syriac class today we are going to study a beautiful story by name bara asota prodigal son taken from the holy bible before entering directly into the story please look on the screen and you are seeing certain pictures in the first picture you are seeing two elderly grandparents with their cheerful grandchildren in the second picture a little daughter kisses her mother affectionately in the third picture a father plays with her little daughter and in the last picture you are seeing four siblings playing together laying on the other all these four pictures are different faces of a good family now i have a question to ask you what makes a house a home house is only a building a house becomes a home when there is selfless love and affection love and affection are greater than money or possessions keniana means possession keniana selfish love of any member of the family may break up a good family relationship in this story we are going to study such a family whose happy relationship develops cracks through the misbehavior of the youngest son the parable of the prodigal son is found in the new testament of the bible especially in the gospel of saint luke chapter 15 verses 11 to 32 of all the parables that jesus spoke this parable is the most touching and the best remembered as we read the story we are captured by the love of the father for his headstrong son a word comes repeatedly is azota 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 is prodigal it means being wastefully extravagant in the story the man's youngest son recklessly and wastefully spends his inheritance the story begins le gawra had is wale banaya train le gawra had is wale banaya train gawra is a man gawra had a man is wale is wale means he had is wale le gawra had is wale means a man had banaya train banaya bara son banaya sons banaya train two sons so a man had two sons this parable begins by introducing three characters a father 
and his two sons benayatre then we read emmerle breshora emmerle breshora shora means little small breshora means little son or the younger son the younger son emmerle said to him the youngest of the two sons demands his share of his father's estate with the father gives him he asked the father ab ab havli palgusa the matiali min baitag ab havli palgusa the matiali min baitag ab ava is father Ab, my father, how li, how, how is the imperative form of the verb yab, yab, he gave, how, give, how li, give to me, palgusa, palgusa is portion or division, plug is the verb which means he divided, palgusa, the portion the matiyali matiya which is due matiya which is due to me min baitag from your house my father give me the portion which is due to me from your house av khawli palgusa the matiyali min baitag ഉപ്പാലകുലുഹോൻ കെനിയാനേ ഉപ്പാലകുലുഹോൻ കെനിയാനേ പ്ലാഗ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഹി ഡിവൈഡഡ് കെനിയാനെ കെനിയാന ഇസ് പൊസഷൻ കെനിയാനേ ഹിസ് പൊസഷൻ ലുഹോൻ ടു ദം ഹി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഹിസ് പൊസഷൻ എമങ് ദം ദൻ വി റീഡ് ഉമിൻ ബാസർ ൗമാസിൽ a little days a few days after a few days kannesh kannesh he gathered or he collected have that breshora little son kol mendam kol mendam means everything kol mendam everything damtai mutta reached came so which he got everything which he got uyazal azal is a verb which means he went and he went asra rahika asra place or country rahika distant or far away asra rahika means distant country or far away country so min basar yawmasa kali after a few days he that little son collected everything he got and went to a distant country he went away because he was seeking to please himself the youngest son was a man of self pleasing self pleasing is the very essence of every sin wherever you are not in fellowship with god your life is in a far country he went to a far country in the next 
sentence we read uttamman badar keniyane kad khaye para khais uttamman tamman means there tamman there harka here uttamman and there badar badar means squanders dissipates squander durveyam cheyaga badar keniyane his possessions kad wail hai para hai hai living para hai means flying flying here and there without any intention in english we can say in wild living in wild living hai para hai but there he squandered his possessions in wild living the word wild means without saving he took the gifts his father bestowed on him and spent them in the far away country without making provision for leaner days and the ultimate needs of life then we read kad gamar kol mandam kad gamar while he spent everything kol mandam everything gamar perfected completed spent but while he spent everything the is wale is wale means he had is wale the is wale which he had huwa huwa there became kafna ramba kafna means famine or hunger famine or hunger ramba great great large there became a great hunger a great famine huwa is a verb of the fourth class which means became or was asra hav asra country or place b asra in hav that in that country in that country there became a great famine shari shari he began hazar le to be in want hazar to be in want he began to be in want he was in need of everything so jari hazarle means he was in need of everything he began to be in want want of everything so kad gamar kol men the while he spent everything the iswale which he had huwa kafna ramba there became a great famine but asra hav in that country shari hazarle and he began to be in need of everything it is always like that it is costly to be in a far away country it cost him fellowship with his father it also cost him the freedom his freedom he lost ironically he left his father's house to get more freedom but practically he became a slave he lost real freedom thirdly he lost everything he began to be in want of everything so that was the result of his extravagant life the next sentence we read uyesal uyesal he went he went yesal he went nikeple nikeple he joined himself he joined himself lkhadumin banai midinta banai midinta bar midinta means citizen citizen 
Banai Midinta means citizens. So he went and joined himself to one of the citizens. Had one. Min Banai Midinta, one of the citizens, the Asraha of that place. Of that place. Asra, place or country. Of that country. Uyezal, he went, Nikkefle, and joined Lihadumin Banai Midinta, the Asraha, to one of the citizens of that place. By the citizen of the faraway country is indicated either men hopelessly corrupt and worldly, or perhaps the powers of evil. He joined with the powers of evil. He was really the citizen of heaven, but now he became the citizen of the faraway country, the country of the evil spirits. In the next sentence we read, Who's Shadareg? Shadar. Shadar means sent. He sent him Lakriza Lmurga Hzire, Kriza field. Kriza field Hzira pick. But he sent him to the field Kriza Lmurga. Murga means Ruga field. The pigs, the master sent him to the field to feed the pigs. To feed the pigs is the basest and wildest of all the employments during the time of Jesus in Israel. And to a Jew, it is peculiarly degrading. No character could be meaner in the sight of a Jew than that of a swine herd. In Egypt, such people were not permitted to mingle with the civil society. So this job was such a basest and wildest one. The next sentence we read, Umes rag rag, umes rag rag wa, lumemla karse. Rag rag, rag rag means he severely wants. Rag means desire. Rag means desire. Rag rag means. He severely decides. He earnestly decides. Mess rag rag. He earnestly decided. Lumemela. Mela means fill. To fill. Karseh. His stomach. Karsa is stomach. He earnestly desired. Otherwise, uh, he desired very much to fill his stomach. Uh, min haruve. Haruva is husk. 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 Haruva. With husks, the aklin wa zire. The aklin wa ekal eight. Aklin wa was a eating. The pigs were eating. With the husk, the pigs were eating. He desired very much to fill his stomach with the husk the pigs were eating. Uh, a sinful state is a state of constant discontent. The wealth of this world and pleasures of the senses will not even satisfy our bodies. In the next sentence we read, La nas yahebu wale. La nas no one, no body. No man yahebu wale gave him. No man gave him. 
nobody gave him even the husk which the pigs were eating to fill his stomach he desired very much to fill his stomach with the husk the pigs were eating but nobody gave him his masters were only interested in him to feed their pigs they are not concerned about his hunger or health that is all the far country has for any man then we read kad yesa luwas napse kad while yesa he came luwas napse to himself luwas napse to himself napsha soul or himself while he came to himself until that time he was out of his mind every sin distorts our vision clouds our mind as long as a man is away from god he is not really in himself he is only in himself when he is on his way back home in other words it means when he came to his senses when he came to his senses avanu subodham undai avanu subodham undai pol kuma hasha angire is bes ab the yatir luhon lahuma kuma kuma how many how much hasha now angire angira means hired servant hired servant angire is there are bes ab in the house of my father baita bes bes ab in the house of my father the yatir luhon lakuma who had plenty of bread lakuma bread yatir plenty but how many of my father fathers hired servants have now more than enough bread plenty of bread now the son recognizes father's sufficiency the hired servants are obviously those who serve god not in the spirit of filial love but from the hope of a reward even in that lowest form of duty they find what satisfies their wants so the son wants to become a hired servant even the hired servants are more satisfied than the deplorable state of the prodigal son the prodigal son says enna harkal kafan abedna enna ai harka here le kafan my hunger to my hunger kafana hunger to my hunger abedna i perish i perish i hear harka i hear perish with my hunger the little son confesses that he had fallen he disobeyed his father i perish with hunger yekum ezal luwas ab yekum ezal these two verbs are in the future tense i will get up kam is the root of yekum kam he stood up yekum i shall get up ezal future of ezal ezal i shall go i shall stand up and i shall go luwas up to my father 
it is a decision of the prodigal son i shall get up and i shall go to my father yes as all he went yes all i shall go come he stood ekum i shall stand up so the prodigal son recognizes his condition and determines to return to his father having resolved to go to his father he father decides to tell him the plain truth about himself hrtes bashmaya wakda maik hrtes hrta means he sinned hrtes i have sinned hrtes this is the fourth class verb hrtes i have sinned bashmaya jmaya heaven bashmaya against heaven vakta maik and before you ula mekel javena the barag eskri la mekel javena la la is a particle to make negative sentences mekel therefore javena javena shuva means he became worthy Shavena, I am worthy. The brag, brasan, brag, you are son. Eskre, kra, he called. Eskre, to be called. I am not worthy to be called your son. So therefore, I am not worthy. La Shavena, I am not worthy to be called your son. This is a confession of the prodigal son. to his father abedain ag had min angirai abad means make do abedain make me make me ag ag like had min angirai as one of your servants as one of your servants make me as one of your hired servants in the first part we see the prodigal son asks his father give me my portion from your house give me your portion from your house give me he said to his father in the hour of his self will when his heart was broken he said make me one of your hired servants so this is a different which uh, painful experiences changed his life now he says to his father make me as one of your hired servants having made his decision he put that decision into practice into effect who calm esa luas awui who calm and he stood up Yes, and he came, Luas Awu, to his father. This is past tense. He stood up and he came to his father. He arose and came to his father. This is the actualization of his decision to go to his father. So here, the conversion of the prodigal son is completing. he went to his father and here ends our story so we can study this story sentence by sentence reading very carefully now we can see a small video of this lesson there was a man who had two sons And the younger said to his father, "Give me my share of the property." Farming is a waste of time. You work so hard all year, <laughs> and if there's one bad storm, it's gone. The future is always in the Lord's hands. But I want it to be in my hands. We've heard this all before. Father, I want to go to the city. In the city, you can take your money and lend it out. 
and then it comes back to you five times, ten times greater. None of this hard work, plowing and planting and hoeing and harvesting. Wouldn't that be nice if we could all get rich without doing any work? I didn't say it was no work, but it isn't hard work. It's smart work. Oh, right. If you're so smart, why haven't you done it already? It takes money. No, Jacob. I don't belong on a farm, Father. I belong in the city. Jacob, I'd give you anything I could, but I don't have money. What I have is land and sheep and goats and cattle. Someday, half of this will be yours, Jacob. By then, it'll be too late. You build a fortune the way you build a wall. Slowly, one stone at a time. I want to get rich now, when I'm still young enough to enjoy it. <sighs> Don't listen to him, Father. He wants you to sell half your land and give him the money. Give me my chance in the city, Father. I won't let you down. Jacob, will you ever give up? Not till I have my chance. Oh, all right. What? <coughs> you mean it, Father? Yes, Jacob, I mean it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Father. Your inheritance, Jacob. It's yours to do with as you wish. Hello, gold. You are my future. You might feel rich now, but there is never as much money as you think. Keep a careful accounting. Every time you spend or invest a single coin, write it down. I'll do it, Father. Don't worry, boy. When I come back, I'll be rich. Goodbye! Half of Father's land, gone. Oh, Lord, please, just bring him safely back to us. Want to try your luck? Sure. Again. <laughs> Sorry. You lose. Place, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here, eat another leg. Ah, this is the life. Yes. A toast to wealth. <laughs> <laughs>
You're the best friend I have ever had, Jacob. <laughs> it's been a party every day for a month. Wait, I want to get some flowers for Anna. Keep the change. <laughs> I will never forget your generosity, most gracious sir. Something for you. I can pick all the flowers I want from my father's garden. I, I thought you liked me. When you first came here, you were so, so full of dreams. And I'm still going to make them come true. No. You're just like my brother. Silly. Wasteful. You're going to spend all your gold. <laughs> I have plenty of money left. I have... I... I still have the other one. Oh. Oh, Jacob. <laughs> I can still invest this. You'll see. I'll be back. been looking all over for you. Not now. Hey, come on. It's gone, Fashid. The gold is gone. Do you understand? There is no more. <laughs> gone. <laughs> well, I um <clears throat> guess I'll uh, see you around, Jacob. I haven't eaten anything in two days. I'll work hard. Please, sir, a coin. You startled me. I am starving, sir. Please, give me some work. I really wish I could help you, boy, but haven't you heard? There's a famine. I hardly have enough to feed all my animals. Oh, the only ones making any money these days are the money lenders. Oh. oh, please, sir. I will do anything. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, well, I, oh, well, I guess you can care for the pigs. Clean up after them and feed them. Then you can have whatever food you can find. Oh, thank you, sir.
have I become? <laughs> Even my father's servants eat better than this. <laughs> yes, that's that's it. That's it. I'll go to my father and and beg him to hire me as a servant. I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am not worthy to be your son. But please, please, hire me to be a servant. Oh, never. Never, Jacob. Oh, all of you, everyone, Jacob is home. Bring out my best robe. Put it on my son. Put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring me the fatted calf, and kill it, and roast it, and let us eat and be merry. <laughs>